Hello and welcome to Sandow's Light Dumbbell Experiment, day number 11. We hit a milestone today. Today I hit 100 bicep curls with a measly 2.4 pounds. Impressive, I know. Perhaps not. But we are very close to the end of the program, which will be at 120 bicep curls, or day number 15. So four more days, and this first cycle will come to a close, and I will move up weight and start it all over again. Uh, And I guess I'll be working out for one month straight. I'm actually looking forward to resetting the reps because uh, my body is feeling it now. I'm not really sore But getting near the end of the workout, I am pretty tired, and I do end up breaking a sweat. I think that is partially because of the banded push-ups. I give my max effort on those pretty much every day. Um, I haven't pulled anything, and I don't feel too much strain. Well, only during the workout, or during the set of push-ups, but afterwards I feel perfectly fine. My lower back is no longer hurting, even though the side bends are increasing in reps, but not in weight. So that is one thing I know for sure, is that my body is adapting to the stress. But yes, I'm looking forward to going back down in reps because this workout, even though the video will only be about five minutes, the workout itself is about 20 minutes. So it is a pretty decent workout. One new thing I did also, I do feel confident saying, is that I've learned how to squeeze my glutes during many of the standing exercises. If you notice, my feet are pointed out uh, in a stance called a tension, which is what Sandow calls for whenever doing the standing exercises. I find that when my toes are pointed out and I kind of tuck tuck my butt under, I'm able to flex my glutes and most of the time flex my quads as well. So I do feel like I'm getting some amount of lower body work while I'm doing all of these exercises. So that is pretty cool. I feel like even though I'm doing 100 bicep curls and 45 reverse curls, it feels like my shoulders are getting the most work, mostly due to the wrist exercises. If you notice, my arms are are pretty much out um, in level with my shoulders, so holding them up for that long, they do tend to get a lot of work. And especially during the side curl, uh, doing one hand and doing both, and the shoulder press and the front raises, uh, all of those really do work the shoulders. So I feel like those are one of the more tired muscles, other than uh, my triceps after doing all of the push-ups, but yeah, I'm curious to see what my gains will be in the shoulders. I'm pretty, I'm definitely looking forward to that. But yes, only four more days, and then I will make my video doing a little review of the very first cycle, and then I'll continue on to the uh, second cycle, which would be technically cycle one, because I'll be using the correct weight, and I'll give my thoughts on what I've learned, what I'll be planning to do next, what I recommend for people looking into this program, and any other insights that I come up with during the next few days. Oh, Also, during this workout, I decided to try and hold the dumbbells while doing the sit-ups because I just felt like the sit-ups unweighted were a little too easy. So this was actually the very first time that I did them, and I was trying to figure out how to hold the dumbbells but I think I eventually got it. So if you'd like to see more of this journey, subscribe, leave a comment below of any questions, and leave a like. That does encourage me and help these videos get out to more people. And that's really why I'm making these videos, mostly so other people can see if this program is worth it or not, if it's worth investing their time into, since it is so precious. So... Yes, please leave a like, subscribe, and I will see you all tomorrow.